Hey Virgo, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to rope. My name is Keonti and I'm going to bring you a love reading for June 2020. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you're cross-watching from for a, for a Virgo, it could resonate from your perspective. Guys, this is a general reading, so all messages won't resonate. Be sure to keep what resonates and check what doesn't. Okay, it is energy, so this could be happening now or getting ready to happen. All right. I'm intending it to be about love, but it definitely could be about family, work, or other things. If the messages resonate for you, my beautifully abundant Virgos, can you please, please give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below. All right, my beautifully abundant Virgos. What's going on with you guys in love for June 2020? Spirit, can you give me messages and Okay. Well, the fool. You could be dealing with an Aries, but there's about to be a whole new leap. Six of Cups. Now, there's some weird energy there. I have Aries energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but there is a soulmate connection. This could definitely be someone from the past, okay? Someone you have children with. You could be taking a new leap with your children, okay? You and your children could be getting ready to move into a completely new cycle here. But there's Aries energy here. There's definitely something new and fresh coming in, and there's definitely love involved. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is Aries. There's love and there's a new beginning here. No doubt about it. Oh, yes, two of cups, a soulmate connection. Soulmate, twin flames. This could definitely be a twin flame energy. This could definitely be a, soul, a soulmate and twin flame connection, people coming together here. Because there's a whole new beginning here. There's more Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but there's definitely love. Give me more for Virgo spirit. This is beautiful, Virgo. Give me more for the beautiful, the beautifully abundant Virgos in love for June 2020 spirit. For Virgo. Give me more for love for Virgo. The page of cups, more love. Just some for some of you, you could definitely be going into a new cycle or a new phase or a new beginning with your children. Some of you definitely could be expecting a baby, okay? <clears throat> Children definitely could be involved in this, but there's a soulmate connection here. There's something about a new beginning, a whole new beginning, and a lot of love here. Someone definitely could be offering an apology or extending out a love offer. It looks like it's being accepted and people are moving on here. Give me one more for Virgo. <laughs> Some of you are definitely dealing with the water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, no doubt about it. Or an Aries. Page of Swords. There's one more page. So this could, Some of you definitely could be... Um, Getting ready to have twins. Twins could be involved in this situation. I'm seeing fraternal twins here. Some of you definitely uh, could be getting ready to move on into a new cycle and have a, new, a whole new beginning with your two children. There's another two here. What's up with all these twos, Virgos? I'm seeing twos, twos, twos. But there's definitely something here about a plan, a plot, and a strategy for a new beginning. You could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius or a younger water sign. You could be dealing with someone that's younger than you. This could be someone from the past or someone that you have children with, but there's a plan and a plot and a strategy to move forward. Someone could definitely, this could definitely have been a long time coming because I'm seeing a wounded warrior here. Somebody who's taking some lumps, taking some hits, okay? But there's something healing here. There's something about taking a break and healing, and there is a deep connection. There's the lovers. There's definitely something here about a deep connection, and there's lo there's the love rushing in, the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So, yes, and, and, and I see a Three of Pentacles. There's definitely something about a deep connection building. There's about to be a whole, this, just, I'm just feeling so happy just, <laughs> just reading this energy, okay? Again, for some of you, you're getting ready to give birth to twins. I'm seeing twin babies here. Okay, for, for some of you there, again, there's just getting ready to be a whole new cycle for you and your children. For others of you, you may have a younger air sign or a younger water sign. Someone definitely could be, this could be something that's starting in the baby phases right now. Some of you definitely could be dating someone and you're getting ready to fall in love. Or someone is eyeing you. Someone from the past could definitely be, could be eyeing you, spying on you. And they're getting ready to apologize. They want to start over and take a whole new leap. But there's a lot of love here. Whatever this is, Virgo, there's a lot of love. And there's a definitely a new beginning here. There's a new beginning. Now, this could, this definitely could be someone. The Six of Cups could be here because this could be someone that makes you feel like you did when you were a child. Or someone that feels very familiar. Someone could be moving back home. Someone, someone could be moving home with their children. Okay. Wow. Let's go ahead and clarify this with a beautiful Virgo. Again, it's energy, guys. So put yourself where you go in this scenario. 
If it resonates, can you give me a like, comment, subscribe, and a share, though? All right. Why is the fool here for the beautiful Virgos? Why is the fool here for Virgo? Why is the fool here for Virgo? Why is the fool here for Virgo? Make it plain for me. Why is this fool here? This is definitely about taking a whole new leap. And this could be definitely risky. Somebody could be ready to risk it all here. The Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Some of you are receiving communication. The commun uh, some, some sort of communication that you've been waiting on or that you want justice. It could be from a Libra. But listen, some of you are definitely getting justice in a brand new beginning here. This is a brand new beginning. This is here. This is this is yes. This is a, this is an absolute yes. Ace of Swords and Justice. This is an absolute yes. So whatever it is you may have been, if you've been waiting on something, Virgo, if you've been checking and spying, waiting on something, there's a plan, a plot, and a strategy here. And there's something here about a brand new beginning. If you've been waiting on it, you're getting a yes. Knight of Cups. That there's that there's that love. Two of Pentacles. There's choices and options coming in, but there's definitely a yes here. Yes, there, there's a, there's about to be a connection that's a solid, stable connection that's being built here. Why is the Six of Cups here for Virgo? Why is the Six of Cups here for Virgo? Why is the Six of Cups here? The Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Wow. The Eight of Swords. Listen, Virgo, this is Aquari Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. This is a lot of fire energy here. Some of you are definitely dealing with... With the Aries, Leo, Sag, strong Aries here. There's two aces here. There's a passionate new beginning here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of love. There is a heavy burden being dropped here, okay? There's some fast action coming here. There's some swift action. Someone could have been a player in the past and they're dropping that shit and they're ready to start over and rebuild. Could definitely be someone you had children with. Someone could have been afraid. Someone could have kept running out of this connection. Someone could have been really running we're taking a long time to make this decision and now they're making a decision and dropping a burden and they're rushing in because someone was afraid. Someone could have been feeling trapped. This could have been a cycle that was going on and on and on again or something to this effect. But there, but listen, this is a definite yes. Page of Cups, there's more pages here. Again, if this isn't someone, if, 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 if children isn't involved in this situation, someone could definitely be being immature. You could be dealing with someone younger than you. But there is some love and emotional honesty, possibly an apology coming in. Yeah. Because someone's been hurt. If there's an ending coming to that, you could definitely be dealing with the Scorpio. But there's some sort of missed opportunity here. And there's 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 an ending and transformation happening. Why is the Two of Cups here? There's a heavy burden being dropped. Someone could be dropping some player-ass ways here. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here for Virgo? Why is the Two of Cups here? This is a soulmate connection. The Nine of Swords. There's stress, fears, worries, regrets. King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but this is a, this is a, um, this could definitely be you, Virgo, male Virgo. You could be stressed and worried because you're ready to go ahead and do the right thing by your female counterpart. You want to take this leap towards her. You're ready to drop some sort of heavy burden, maybe some player shit here. This could be you, male Virgo, but I also feel for female Virgos. There's, there's a King of Pentacles here. He could be a father, a husband, authority, a figure. He could work his ass off and be very abundant. He, he Or he could just have stress and worries and fears because this is your soulmate. And they're worried about coming in and dropping this heavy burden. Okay? Because someone here has some regrets. Someone may know that you're their soulmate now. And they, they, they apparently fucked up in the past. Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Energy. This guy's waiting on his ships to come in. Yeah, King of Cups, C Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever he is, he has a lot of love here. You have a lot of love for him as well, apparently, because I have love all over the board here. And there's something about him working his ass off. He may be trying to get himself abundant, but he has feelings, okay? It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But he has feelings. He's working with him. He could be drinking a bit, or he could be trying to suppress them. Could definitely be a Taurus, but there's something about a commitment here, a higher level of commitment. Yep, and, and there you are, Virgo. You could definitely be um doing some deep introspection and think and considering this offer. Or you may have to think about it when it comes in. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here for Virgo? Strength. You could be dealing with the Leo. But someone could definitely have a strong ass character and been stubborn in the past, but now they want to apologize. The moon, you could definitely be dealing with the cancer, uh, cancer or Pisces here. Okay, someone is definitely maybe having to tame their beast, tame their lust, refrain from something. Okay, someone could be having to be refraining from a from refrain from a water sign. I I just see that. Six of Cups, but see, there's something about a soulmate connection here. Children could definitely be involved in this, 
but this could definitely be someone from your past if not someone that you have children with there's wish fulfillment here and someone is waiting to take an action there's that two of wands why is the page of swords here for virgo why is that page of swords this could be definitely somebody spying seven of pentacles spying and waiting okay either they're spying and waiting or they're studying how they're doing this or they're waiting, waiting to reap some sort of harvest in order to bring this in someone could be working to get very abundant and waiting and kind of keeping their eye out on on this soulmate in order for them to come back in what's at the bottom of my deck here the two of pentacles you could definitely have an option or you could definitely be juggling this virgo or, so, or someone is juggling this to come towards you. Yep, but it goes from the two to the three and the eight of wands. Someone communicating, the lovers. Okay, someone communicating about this connection. Could definitely be a Sagittarius because someone is trying to temper themselves here. But there is something about a long-term commitment someone is wanting here. And here you are involved. And there's a queen of cups getting justice here. There's definitely love here. And there's a king of pentacles here that's manifesting, coming towards her. You put yourself where you go in this situation, Virgo. But for whatever this is, someone wants to have a new beginning with you. Someone wants to take this leap. They're ready. There's a lot of love here. There's stress and worries. And there's some few things to work out. But whatever the hell this is, Virgo, this is a definite yes. Okay? But this is how I'm seeing things and love for you guys for June 2020. If the message resonates, remember to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, the email information is in the description box below. You guys take care and stay safe, and I'll bring you messages very soon. Bye-bye, Virgos.